Greetings. My name is Joshua Bynas, and I'm a policy strategist and industry foresight lead within the corporate strategy organization at the Bonneville Power Administration. The following seven-part presentation has been recorded in order to provide agency staff and regional stakeholders with an on-demand resource that endeavors to shed light on many of the changes afoot in our industry. The effort to track long-term trends that are capable of impacting the Northwest electric utility industry began about two years ago at the request of BPA's administrator, Elliot Manzer, who wanted a long-term industry landscape presentation prepared for our executive team prior to their engagement with utility customers and stakeholders as part of the agency's Focus 2028 regional engagement. In particular, the administrator wanted a presentation that would provoke a robust conversation among our executive team regarding the implications of the long-term industry landscape on BPA, our customers, stakeholders, and use consumers in the Pacific Northwest. Over the past two years, the content of the industry landscape presentation has been updated every quarter and has been used to provide briefings to thousands of agency staff and external stakeholders. In an effort to expand the availability and viewing convenience of this content, we've decided to record it, making each chapter available individually and on demand through the internet. Now, before you get started, I just want to share some quick caveats. You'll notice first that the time horizon for the study looks out to 2030. Now, that year was originally chosen for the study simply because BPA's existing power contracts extended 2028. Rounding off the time horizon to 2030, was just an act of scope and convenience that matched up with a fair deal of the projections developed by analysts in the public and private sector. Even before the first conveyance of this content, it became very clear that we had to look out much further in time, probably out to 2050, in order to think through potential implications that could affect asset management strategies and issues that can arise over the course of any long-term power contracts that begin in 2028. As a result, you'll notice that many of the forecasts we've included in this presentation look out beyond 2030. Now, nobody can tell the future, and I'm certainly not trying to do that here. Instead, I've done my best to track existing and developing trends, putting them in context within other movements in the industry. And with that in mind, consider that much of the data associated with existing trends is historical, certainly fact-checkable, while much of the data stems from forecasting efforts from many different corners of the industry. Now, I encourage everyone to view all of this material with a critical mindset, especially since in one way or another, all the projections and forecasts I'm reviewing are going to be wrong to some degree. Now, that said, the following forecasts do raise some important questions that can drive very valuable dialogue within your own team as to potential implications for your own work. Now, this is a point of view presentation. And it's not intended to represent any position held by BPA or DOE on any of the content covered. Beyond encouraging everyone to pursue knowledge in regard to changes occurring within our industry and readying themselves and their businesses to find ways to flexibly adapt to those changes in proactive ways, no advocacy is intended in regard to any of the topics covered. And as I pointed out earlier, the intent of this work is to trigger discussion on a range of long-term issues, not to advocate for any particular policies, technologies, or products. If you got any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me directly. My email, jdbinus at bpa.gov, is posted on the introductory page. And I'm always looking to improve the content coverage. So along with the quality of its conveyance, if you have any feedback you'd like to share, please don't hesitate to do so. And if you'd like me to present this work to your team in person or would like me to join your team for a facilitated discussion exploring the implications of the content covered, let me know and we can work something out. Now, thanks in advance for watching these videos. I hope you find them to be a valuable use of your time.